go live. Steve, go live? Mm-hmm. I did. Well, he needs to be on. You have to look, at, look what you have going. Can you shift to my camera angle? Sure, when you start talking. <laughs> right now. C minor chord, ladies and gents. <laughs> Welcome to episode 31. We made 31 episodes of Liveish from Sprague Land. This t for this um, tonight, we are visiting the music in the era of Frida Kahlo. This is going to be fun. Ay, qué bonito es volar a las dos de la mañana. A las dos de la mañana, ay, qué bonito es volar, ay, mamá, volar y dejarse caer en los brazos de una hermana, en los brazos de una hermana, ay, qué bonito es volar, ay, mamá. Me agarra la bruja, me lleva a su casa, me vuelve maceta y una calabaza. Me agarra la bruja, me lleva al cerrito, me siente en sus piernas, me da de besitos. Ay, dígame, dígame, dígame usted, cuántas criaturitas se ha chupado usted. Abajo pescado, ay mamá, me agarra la 
receta me da de comer que diga que diga que diga mi usted cuántas criaturitas se ha chupado usted ninguna 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 no ve que ando en pretensiones de chuparme usted que ando en pretensiones de chuparme a usted Wonderful, thank you. That song was called, and let me see if I got the pronunciation right, La Bruja. La Bruja. La Bruja. Yes, <laughs> La Bruja. This has been a really nice exploration for us. We've, we're visiting a bunch of songs that we've never played. Now, when I say we, most of us, of course, our, our gal that's singing Coral McFarlane to it, she's lived this music, and so she's sort of guided us through it. Um, it's the music from the era of Frida Kahlo and music, uh, and we're adding a little bit of our jazz element to it. Let me introduce the band. On the flute, wonderful tone of, of heaven, this is Beth Ross Buckley. Hello. <laughs> uh, la guitarra, maestro Federico Benedetti on the guitar. Hello. 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 On the bass, low end, master Mac Layton. And let me introduce you to Coral McFarland to it. She's singing with Yay. us. Yay. Hi. Coral, uh, t tell us a little bit about your connection with Frida Kahlo. Well, you know, she was a lot older than me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know her in no, person, No, I didn't huh? know her, no. But my father lived in Mexico City during the, the uh, times of um, Frida Kahlo. Uh, he lived in a different neighborhood, and he was about seven years younger than Frida, but when we were grow growing up in Tijuana, this is the type of music that my father would bring home. So it was the, the music that was popular during that era. So we're gonna be doing, a, like for example, La Bruja, it's a, it's a folk song, and I remember singing it at home with my father. So this is very, uh, music that's very familiar to me. It's like going, or going home. Right. Um, what, in what exact years was, you said your, your dad was a little bit younger. Yes. But what, what years was this all? Well, my father was in Mexico. I mean, he lived in, in, in Mexico City, and he also lived in Puebla, and um, spent some time in Acapulco, in Merida, in Veracruz. But it was during the 30s okay. and, and the 40s, which is the era of Frida Kahlo, when she was most prolific with her art. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, and Steve, did you get a picture? Did you let them see a picture of Frida? She's such an interesting looking gal. Oh, I Why don't you give it to us there, buddy? There you go. Ah, I love that look, man. And Frida was more than the flowers in her hair and the unibrow. I mean, she was, she, you know, she was, she was a revol revolutionary woman. She was a free spirit. She, and that's why a lot of people identify with her because she's a beacon of light for many groups, the LGBTQ plus community, the Chicano community, uh, people, uh, the community of people with disabilities, and of course, feminists. Love it. There was a, a quote that she said that a friend of mine has tattooed on her arm, and it's um, not gentle like a flower, but gentle like a bomb. <laughs> you know, I mean, that says it all. Making change. Yes. Beautiful. Well, cut out. We're going to do. Oh, well, first off, let's check in with Stephanie, uh, my wife Stephanie, by the way, who does a lot of the set design for us. And she's running the chat. Steph, just want to check in with the sound. How are we doing? Yeah. Hi, everybody. There's been no comments on the sound, so that, I think that's a good sign. Is your mic on there? Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, so there's been no comments on the, on the sound, so I think that's a good sign. Okay. okay. And um, although someone mentioned the echo in your mic, and as we know, you just have to keep that for, that's yeah. just part of it, yeah. Yeah, we embrace the echo here at Sprague <laughs> We love echo. It, it would be better if I could talk, with, but I have so much I've got going. I, I sort of say this every time to apologize, but the echo sounds really nice on the, the instruments. Um, 
there's so many buttons that I'd have to push to make it ha not be echo. And then I'd forget and I'd start playing the next song. So, so we embrace the echo as if, as if uh, it's part of the music. The next song, Coral, tell us about Solamente. This one, it feels like bossa nova to me. I, I love the feel of this. Well, it's, it's, uh, originally it was a bolero that was written by Agustin Lara uh, back in the 1930s. And uh, this is the type of music that was popular uh, during the, that time, the time of Frida Kahlo. And, it's, and you, you, some of you may recognize the melody because a lot of people have recorded this, this song, including Willie Nelson. <laughs> but the, the lyrics are in English and they have, they have nothing to do with the Spanish lyrics and the w words in Spanish, they talk about only, you only have one love in your life. Solamente una vez, you know, yeah. you love in your life. Love it, let's play it. Um, okay, so Beth's gonna take the melody in the front. About there, Carl, one, yes. two, one, two, three, four. Una 
Fabulous. <clears throat> All right. Sweet. Next, we're going to do a piece by a, a man named Celso. And Beth, what do you know about this guy, Celso Machado? Oh, um, I think Fred knows a little more than I do. Yeah, Fred, fill us in. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, I think I can say a little bit about him. Because, <laughs> like, I'd never heard of him. Uh, you know, um, I hadn't either, but there are all these arrangements for flute and guitar and two guitars by him. And so I researched him, and, and you know, he's actually very well known. He's an amazing guitarist, but he's very well known for body percussion. What? Yeah, yeah, he plays on his body. And he's supposed to be an amazing. I don't have any recordings or any any video of it, but I bet you it's out there somewhere, you know. And I'd love to see that and hear that. Yeah, um, I, I, lo I looked him up in, in uh, on Wikipedia, and he was, he's living now in British Columbia, Canada. Oh wow! And Steve, Steve, there, there's a, yeah, there's they have a picture of him. He's a wild man. I love it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. But written some beautiful songs, and so Beth and and they're going to do it as a trio. Beth, um, Fred, and Mac, and it's uh, three different tunes of his. Um, first one's called Sambosa, and then are you guys going to travel right into the, the next ones? There'll be a little break between each. Little one. break, and then one. How how do you say the next one, um, Beth? I think it's Pasoka. Yeah, Pasoka. Pasoka, and then the last one. Mac, take it away. Page Muleki. Yeah. Hey, that's Mac, good. Mac worked on this. <laughs> Mac. Okay. I, I had some coaching. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
One, two. So Machado. I love that set that that's it. I'm gonna steal that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one to take. All right. Uh, let's turn in with the chat meister. That's Stephanie. Stephanie, by the way, is my wife, and um, she helps so much on these shows. Um, she d d works with Steve and myself and makes sure that the camera angles look right. And then she ordered food from Rubio's that the band had after re the rehearsal. And now she's working the chat, working her stuff. So, Steph, what are people saying? Hi, everybody again. Yeah, so first of all, I just wanted to say we're missing Brian tonight. Yes, tell yeah. them about that. Uh, and people are doing, uh, saying we're from here and we're from there. <laughs> and I'm sorry we don't have the map app because uh, <laughs> Brian isn't here to do that. But hopefully next time. Yeah. But Peter, we have a nice representation, Orange County, uh, up north in California, and of course our own North County in San Diego. So that's really great. Thank you guys. And uh, Charlene from Hawaii and Lars from Brazil. Lars from Brazil. And a couple Hi, people from Mexico. Probably And uh, yeah. so that's really exciting. Is anyone... The, um, Coral said that she had some friends from Mexico, but where else that was in the Midwest, you said? Yeah, some? Denver, Bal and Boulder, both cities, Boulder and Denver. Cool. Hi. <laughs> and nice. um, also from Oklahoma. Oh. Oklahoma. And um, of course, Rosarito and Ensenada, Tijuana, Chula Vista, family, friends. It's great. Yeah. That's great. Saludos. So Brian says it sounds great. Music and the sound is wonderful. Good. He yeah. would know. He would know. All right. Well, thanks. Anything else, Steph? That's great. That's it. Thank you. Um, hey, you know, we do these shows and we put a bunch of energy into them and the, we get to play the music and that's the reward. But sometimes you guys send tips and that's even an extra bonus. And so there is, right below me, yes, the tip information is there. Most people do it through um, snail mail, but... 
Venmo is really cool. Zelle, we love Zelle. PayPal is good if you do the family and friends deal so that they don't take the half the money for themselves. <laughs> um, but we really appreciate it, and uh, it sort of helps keep the whole spirit running. So thanks for those tips, and we'll we'll hit it, uh, get that information out at the end of the show too. Um, Coral, what we're gonna do? Un mundo raro. And what, what is this? What is this lyric saying? Well, it's um, well. First, I want to tell you a little bit about well, Jose Alfredo Jimenez wrote this song, who's an, um, a very, very well-known um, composer singer from Mexico. But there was a singer. Her name was Chabela Vargas, and she actually sang La Bruja. She sang Sabor a Mí. She sang one of the songs that I'm going to sing a little bit later. But Chabela Vargas was a very, very good friend of Frida Kahlo, oh. and. Um, they actually had a romance. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Frida Kahlo was bisexual. That's why the LGBTQ community plus is, um, embraces her because of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, because of her art as well. But so Chabela Vargas and Frida were very, very good friends. And so this song is titled Un Mundo Raro, which means a strange world. And it says, I come from a strange world, and you come from a strange world. But if you ever meet someone new, don't tell them that you, that you loved before. Don't tell them about me, because if you think of me, you are really going to feel what love is. So she's <laughs> kind of not letting... And the one thing about Chabela Vargas is that she never changed the lyrics. Even if the song was sung by a male, she would keep the male version. You know, right. Because in, in Spanish, you have the feminine and the masculine. And uh, so she would keep it that way. So I'm going to do that. Good. Un mundo raro. Un mundo raro. So one, two, three. One, two, Thank you. 
saber de mi pasado es preciso decir otra mentira les diré que llegué de un mundo raro que no sé del dolor que triunfé en el amor y que nunca he llorado porque yo a donde voy hablaré de tu amor como un sueño dorado y olvidando el rencor no diré que tu adiós me volvió desgraciado y si quieren saber de mi pasado es preciso decir otra mentira les diré que llegué de un mundo raro que no sé del dolor que triunfé en el amor y que nunca he llorado I love that song. That's so pretty, Coral. Thank you. An extra hand for Coral McFarland too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm having a ball. Yes. Yeah. Coral and I have known each other. For, well, a lot of these folks that I'm playing with, we've known each other for a long time. But maybe Coral, could you be the longest time? Well, it was 40 years. It's been 40 years. I remember it was a, a Halloween uh, gig. Oh, at the Earth Song Bookstore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I also came back from my honeymoon four days early so I could do a $60 gig with you <laughs> at a library. So I'll never forgive you for that, Peter. Uh, <laughs> it's unfair. Unfair. People do but such hey, nice things for me. We've yeah. been playing together for 40 years, so I guess it was worth it. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. Well, you, you sound so good, Coral. Thank you. The, the emotion and the spirit of it is just gorgeous. We're ha so happy. We're going to do next. Now, Frida... Um, I, I guess spent some time in New York City and liked jazz. And so we're going to do a song that she might have heard in some jazz club. This is a, a Duke Ellington composition called In a Sentimental Mood. Let's do it one more time.
Ellington. Mm -hmm. She lived in Detroit, and she also spent a little time in San Francisco, and yeah. New York, so she loved music, and she loved jazz, and um, so it's kind of cool. Do you like jazz? Who? <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think I do. I, I think know. I adore it. I, I love it. I know. I'm just kidding you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, um, one of the, the next piece we're going to do is by a composer named Carlos Gardel, and uh, he was born in 1890, uh, a French-born Argentinian singer, and sort of super popular in the tango world. And um, this is such a killer piece. It's called Volver. And Corral, do you have anything else to add to that that you know about Carlos? Uh, Carlos Gardel? Well, um, you know, when I was doing a little bit of research on the music of the era, I ran into tangos, I ran into jazz, I ran into musica folclorica mexicana, mm -hmm. and, uh, th and I saw a tango, and I thought of, of this one because it's a song that I grew up with. But Carlos Gardel was one of the most, um, I, th I guess the best well-known mm -hmm. tango uh, writer, well, Piazzolla, of course. Um, but unfortunately, after he wrote this song, he, he died about three months after writing this piece. He, well, he died in an airplane. And you guys were telling me something about Piazzolla. What was the story, Fred, with Piazzolla? 
Well, Piazzolo was uh, actually scheduled to, to go on the plane in which they it, with, that crashed, and uh, his parents wouldn't let him go. Wow. Was so he like, too young? Or yeah, yeah, they said he was too young. He was really yeah, he was too young, young to die. Man. Well, wow. yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Thank goodness. Wow. But this song is t entitled Volver, which means to return. And it's about being in exile and coming back home, being away. And it says 20 years. I've been away for 20 years. And the streets are still there. The lights are still there. But everything is the same. But I am changed. Mm -hmm. you know, so. mm -hmm. Let's do it. One, two, three, two, three. Yo adivino el parpadeo de las luces que a lo lejos van marcando mi retorno. Son las mismas que alumbraron con sus pálidos reflejos hondas horas de dolor. Y aunque no quise el regreso, siempre se vuelve al primer amor. La quieta calle donde el eco dijo su vida, tuyo es su querer, bajo el burlón mira de las estrellas que con indiferencia hoy me ven
things we're gonna we have a couple more songs to do right now we're gonna do a, a CD giveaway and I'll explain that but but the song that we're gonna go before the, the CD giveaway is complete is a new one of mine it's called the two Fridas and Steve could you pull up that image of it it to the two Fridas is the name of one of Frida's most um, notable paintings it's a double self-portrait that's her on the left and her on the right. Her on the left in Euro Victorian dress, holding hands, which is interesting. Um, on the right, she's holding hands to uh, herself in traditional indigenous dress. And this, holding hands suggests maybe the acceptance of the dualities of life. This is sort of what I've heard, but me thinking of it too. The happy life, the tragedies of life. Um, my song that I wrote, I tried to capture some of that in a couple of ways. One, uh, I used the minor, a theme in the minor key, and then I, I start it in the minor key, and then I sort of repeat it, but in the major key. Another thing is I sort of have a classical vibe going in the beginning, and then a Latin side um, on the second half. The two Fridas, it's the next piece we're going to play. And then here's the CD giveaway. I'll tell you what the CD is after we do this song. But the question is, is what year did Frida paint the two Fridas? And then you send that in the, the chat. Steph will figure out who got it first. And you'll win a, an incredible gift. <laughs> okay. You guys all set for this? Oh yeah. Yes. This is a this is the second we had a world premiere of this about a month ago and this is the second world premiere. Brand new piece. So all righty, Fred? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Oh you guys hear the train? Yes. Oh yeah. Let's include that. <laughs>
<laughs> great tune, Peter. That was great. Thank you, guys. Oh, great tune, Peter. Thank you. That worked out. So check it out. That was the, called the Two Fridas. And back to our our um, our CD giveaway. I wanted to show you this CD. There it is. So back in, I'm not sure what year. Kara, what year did we make Pass the Drum? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But this CD, ladies and yeah. gents, was one that we wrote called Pass the Drum. It, and it featured Coral doing a lot of Brazilian music. And that's, you're looking at the cover there, the cover in the back. And then show the, picture, the group picture. That's, that's a cool picture with Tommy Eros, Duncan Moore, my brother Tripp, Ken Dow, the bass player, Leonard, um, Coral, and myself. And we recorded some really cool songs. So you're going to win, whoever wins this is going to win that CD. I'll well, just put in there that Gail Schultz. My aunt. Whipped it right out. She did? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. So Frida was, uh, did the, the two Frida's painting, it was in 1939, and so Mac's aunt won it. Hey, Mac, yeah. do you see her very often? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, so, that's good. That's oh, great. how good is that? Well, good work, you guys. The year should be on the CD when we recorded it. Let's see. It says... You know, it's probably in the liner notes in, t in the interior, but oh, this okay. is an unopened CD. This is a rarity, ladies wow. and gents. Yeah. There's not many of these left. Hey, Steph, can you keep the door closed for me to keep it warm? Thanks. I love it warm, and, and I may be the only guy that loves it, loves it really warm. Um, okay, just, I think, two more songs. Um, this um, next one is called Noche. Why don't you say it, Corella? Noche de Ronda. <laughs> Okay. Written by Agustin Lara and Chabela Vargas also recorded this piece of music. Mm -hmm. And it's about, you know, it says, where is she? And she's gone. She's under the night sky and who knows where she is. So he's saying, tell her that I love her. Tell her that I'm, I'm dying here just waiting for her. She needs to return to me. So, um, you know. Super Very romantic. romantic. You know, and Desperate. I have to say, part of the, the deal is so cool, Coral, the way, the way that you explain these songs. It just, it's romantic right there, just the way that you do that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Fred, are you good? I am. So I'm going to give you a really long D there, right? Okay. Si esta noche 
Beautiful. Um, Stephanie, let's t check in. This is uh, we're going to do our last song, and just want to see if there's any news coming out of the chat. Well, lots of comments on how much everyone is loving the show. Beautiful music, Coral. Your voice, I think, is beautiful as well as everyone on the chat. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. And the music, it's just a great, great combination. And like I said, I the musicians will go back and watch the show and they'll hear see the comments and that's really nice to see that but um yeah so anyway i just want to mention uh hi to steve in portland and Neat. there's another steve listening from cleveland as well as obviously other people too so thanks everyone for tuning in yeah yeah great yeah thanks peter yeah, yeah. it's so it's really fun you know that's Having Steph work the chat and, and and kind of tuning in with the, the chat is kind of a neat way to make it feel a little bit more live. And you know, what was happening during the pandemic is this was our only outlet. Now gigs have started to come back, concerts. Um, but we're still digging the idea of doing a live stream for each new program that we do. So coming up in December, we're going to do a, a, a big December Christmas concert and we're going to also do a live stream then too and i'll tell you more about that as it gets nearer hey peter can you mention our early CD brown day answer what's that cd giveaway answer oh we did it oh you did yeah yeah oh, sorry <laughs> <laughs> steve's hey that's steve by the way let's have a hand for Yay. him he's, he's our technical Yay. wizard Yay. He's doing the switching, and then he was probably so caught up in one of the cameras had slipped or something, and I saw him come and adjust it, and he must have been um, thinking about that rather than the CD winner that was Max Ant. So we're anywhere. We're good on that. Um, yes, and Beth asked me to remind you, we are doing a show. Beth has an organization called Camarada, a nonprofit um, chamber music group that includes Fred and myself uh, a fair amount of time and a lot of other kinds of music. Um, on, in December, is it December 17th, Beth? Yep. December, December 17th at the Conrad Theater, by the way, which is just an amazing brand new theater in La Jolla. Um, we're doing a Christmas concert and we're doing the music of Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown's Christmas music. So I just, you know, Beth, I started to research it and I've got a little plan going, so. Oh, good. I'm gonna, I can't wait. Yeah. I'm going to do the arranging, and, and it's on my website, the, the information for that concert. And it's, of course, on Beth's camarada.org uh, um, website. Yeah, join us. It'll yes, it's going to be fun. And yeah, I'm feeling good about it. I, there's that Vince Guaraldi plays the piano, and he wrote all the songs. And, of course, the Linus and Lucy theme, but there's a bunch of other great um, Christmas songs that he jazzes up, so that'll be a good time. All right, the last, the last song, and Corral's just waiting to see if I can pronounce it right. Are you going to yes. do it? I'm going to do it. Okay. La Llorona. Wow! <laughs> wow, Peter. Here's the thing. Wow. It's written La. Okay, it's written with two L's. O R N A. Now, when I wrote out the chart, I did it wrong, so. I, I spelled it wrong. I wouldn't have gotten it anyway, correct, but it was a much better no, chance was, to get it right. I, it, that was funny. That <laughs> nobody could pronounce it. I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's not that hard. And why, why couldn't we do it? Because you spelled it wrong on the chart, so everybody yeah. was reading it wrong, and I just, La, what's wrong with La these Lorna. people? They can play music, but La, they can they, but they don't know any Spanish. You're going to get some Spanish lessons from me. <laughs> so funny. What does the song speak about? Well, well La Llorona is a, a song that's really associated with, with Frida Kahlo, and every verse is like a little story. Every mm. verse is a little story. So I picked... Uh, a couple of verses, uh, one of them says uh, that I, I carry two kisses in my heart, the last one that I gave my mother and the first one that I gave you. Mm. So that's one of the verses. But it goes on and on and on, and um, it's a very, very old song um, from Mexico, a folk una canción folclórica. And say it first. Say La Llorona. It. There it is. La that's Llorona. That's 
Yarona. Okay. Ooh. Let me check that tuning one sec, folks. We care, so we tune. But La Llorona is a weeping woman, okay? So they're, she's, they're speaking to the La Llorona. An old legend from Mexico. This is called the... You've heard of the dueling banjos. <laughs> This is the out of tune. What happens, folks? So Stephanie opened the door because it was getting really warm in here, and when and it was getting really, it's really a lot warmer than when we started. And guitar strings tend to go sharp, the especially nylon the ones. nylon. Yeah. Yeah, they go. Ah, oh, I love it. Peter, I think it's 95 degrees in here, so <laughs> it had to get just perfect. a little air. Oh, perfect. <laughs> well, it's just, perfect. I operate at a different temperature, yeah. it's, 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 and, and it's so nice on the hands to, to be super warm. But thanks again to the crew for putting up with my warm room in here. Okay. <laughs>
Llorona. Beautiful. Hey, let me tell you who's in the band. That's Coral McFarland to it, singing Yay. up a storm. Beautiful, Coral. Thank you. On the flute, Beth Ross Buckley, playing the beautiful tone. Federico Benedetti on the guitar. Great, great guitar playing. How about a hand for Mac for that incredible bass bowed solo? Yeah. A couple songs back. Thanks so much. My name is Peter Sprague. Yeah. Love being with you. And then just a, a tip of the hat to the crew again Stephanie, my wife, Steph, Yay. and then Steve doing the switching. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, like I said earlier, we're doing, we're playing for tips. We've, we're in that era of our lives where we're so rich from everything else that we just play for tips. That's, that's how it works. Um, <laughs> we're all laughing. Yeah, they're not laughing. No. They think it's true. Um, so the tip jar, it, it, people pay um, by PayPal, Zelle. Um, Venmo is one of my favorites. I love Venmo, but Venmo makes it paying money to people seem like it's a game and it's super fun. So, <laughs> so, so lean into that one. Also, snail mail, and our addresses are there. I'm looking to make sure they're yep yeah, they're there. And then you see those two codes on the either side. That's called a v what do they call that VR code? QR. QR. QR code. QR. And if you, if you stick your phone up there, it'll take you right to the place where you can donate. So thanks for doing that. Um, like I said, on 1222, well, 1217, December 17th, we're doing the Charlie Brown Christmas uh, music. On the 1222, we're doing another live stream of uh, uh, Christmas music, sort of jazzified like we like to do. And uh, we're going to just keep them coming. Maybe once every month, we'll try to do a live stream. And we really appreciate having you. That's the word, folks. Keep the sky in your head. Lots of love from us here to you. Till the next time. Thank you.